I don't know if anyone's going to tune into the live stream, but I'm going to try to do part two of my FX Anadu tutorial for YouTube while on stream this time. Uh, before I dive in and get back to where we were, which was this scene, um, there's been updates to how I do things already. Notably this screen. If you go at full speed, you can just land on the left edge, shoot that guy twice, and you get a Matic. Uh, before I dive in and get back to where we were, which was this Oops. scene, forgot to hit pause um, on the dashboard. Okay, we're good. Almost. Okay, now we're good. Um, ignore that giant diagram on the side for now. Uh, there's another thing I gotta get back to is right, state 9. This ladder reset is really tricky, of course, but if you want, you can just use a second deluge. And then press left, and uh, I think if you're fast enough, you can... Oops. Yeah, you can just go like that if you're fast enough. So, that's pretty good. Anyway. So this is the all-important part of the run where wing boots flying begins. Um, there's a glitch that allows you to use your wing boots longer than you were meant to, but first I'm going to show you how to do this next area without doing that at all, without pressing the start button to pause the game and extend your wing boots timer. So I'll show you the strats for how to get the, the first spring and uh, into the first tower. I think it's called Tower of Trunk, where uh, you'll use your elixir and activate the second spring, then death warp to get out. So... Alright, so that was kind of bad. One thing you can do is, uh, you can scroll the screen to, um, induce lag, and this changes the wing boots timer a little bit. It's actually really hard for me to ignore the urge to press start right now. So anyway, you talk to this guy. It's not a big deal, I'm just gonna frame skip through it. These guys jump over you, just walk under them. Jump on the second crack from the left. Get up here. Jump up here. Take a damage boost from this guy. Shoot him for health if you want. You can do a ladder rejump there, but I'm just not going to, just to show it off. Oops. Okay, don't do that. Shouldn't be a big deal. So fly straight up here. Shoot this guy in the face. Climb up the ladder. seconds on the clock, but ignore that for now. There we go. And also no wing boots appearing there. But wing boots are supposed to appear there, trust me. Alright, so you can either get hit. Basically that's what you want to do, is you want to shoot all three of these bees in one go on the way up. Um, wow, I'm really bad at this. I was doing really badly at it in my races last night too. Talk to this guy a lot. Now this is where you death warp, so just use the bees for that. 
and then you'll respawn in church. Uh, oh, this safe state also has the wrong amount of experience, but you'll respawn with zero gold. I'll get to that later. Um, here's the alternate version that shows what Havoc Prodigy and I have been doing, which involves wing boot pausing. Um, I'm just gonna... Let me see. Oh, I can't task out of the game here. Alright. I'm just going to briefly expand this out a little bit. Okay. This is a terrible MS Paint image I made in about 20 minutes <laughs> to explain what's going on when I do wing boot pausing. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing start to pause the game. Um, let me just get back to normal play for a second to show what that looks like. So when you press start, everything stops. Like, the game instantly pauses. Like, the very next frame, even. This isn't me pressing start as fast as possible. And as you can see from the input display. So yeah, it's not like a Konami game where it plays like little da 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 da! There's no tune or anything. The game just pauses instantly. Unlike with Select, where there's like, you know, draws the menu and plays a little sound. You can't pause while inside the menu, by the way. But anyway, um, they kind of screwed up. Faxanadu has a universal timer that keeps ticking while the game is paused. Um, I think this timer might also be used for enemy movements, but I think I may have it reversed, and enemy movements are just a consequence. Like, they're, they're in sync with this timer, but they have their own timer. I don't think you can make uh, minotaurs run around forever or jump forever by pausing really quickly. But anyway... This is what you do. Um, the game decrements from your wing boots timer every 64 frames. So this counter ticks from 0 to a 0xff, or 255 in base 10, in decimal. And uh, yeah, on the on the frames that are a multiple of 64, minus 1, I guess, since you, know, you start from 0 in computer science concepts, um, this is when it subtracts from your wing boots timer. But since the timer keeps going while the game is paused, if you're paused during this critical frame, where it would subtract from your timer, it actually doesn't subtract from your timer. So as long as you're paused during those frames, you won't lose a wing boot second. So I saw this in the tool assisted run and thought, well, how's this going to work? I, I realized I could just do it in real time. When I, there were parts where I would like barely lose a wing boot second before leaving a screen. So I thought, what if I just paused for a little bit so I could keep it? And then I just started wing boot pausing everywhere. Um, there's a lot of uh, muscle memory I have, like little visual cues to show where to pause. So... Um, I'm just going to go through it once without stopping, and then I'll do it again, and I'll explain all my visual cues for where I pause. So let's load the state and get started here. So I hold the controller claw in my lap because I need to press A to jump, B to attack, and start to keep pausing, so I have a finger on each button. So cross the screen to keep the timer going. Okay, that last pause was really bad, but wow, that was like some of the best pausing I've done there, actually. Okay, you always lose one after there for some reason. Okay, that probably wasn't worth pausing for, just because I lost more real time for it. I'm not very good at this screen, but I managed to keep all my seconds here. I'm terrible at this screen. Yeah, I always hit those early. Missed the ladder reset. Ah, I missed jumping over this guy again. Okay, maybe on the third try I'll actually do it. I'm actually looking at the timer on my screen, so that's why I'm having so much trouble. I'm also busy looking at bees on this screen, so I don't really watch my timer. As you can see, wing boots should just appear here first visit. Yeah, I have a weird seventh sense for when the timer is gonna subtract. And that's when I pause. Oh, I missed that one. I was a little bit late. Pause instantly on this screen. It's important that you pause as much as possible in this tower. Oh, that was a bit late. So while crossing the top of the screen, watch out that you don't take a wraparound hit from that guy. 
Now I can start letting my wing boost timer run out a little bit because I'm just trying to save real time. I'm going to die as soon as I touch a B, so... I don't know. You'll, as long as you avoid the, the power of the wing boost dialogue is gone. See, I even like lost a few because of frame skip, but yeah, I'm good. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work, but that's what it's supposed to look like if you can extend your wing boost long enough. You can fly up the shaft instead of climbing the ladders on the side there. Uh, if you can make this flight, it saves about 15 or 20 seconds. It's really important. It's probably the one of the biggest applications of wing boots pausing. So, um, this probably isn't going to work. Actually, I have that save state in the middle. So, um, because I'm going to be paused for a long time, I'm going to be out of sync with the timer, so I probably won't actually extend, but... Okay, I started at 39, that's a shame. Basically, cross this whenever. Okay, so I pause, like, about here, like... It's like a certain duration. Like the first, it's okay to drop the first one when you're first learning to wing boots extend. But um, okay, the next cue after this wraith on the left bounces off the screen, it's like a little after that when you pause, and then watch the wraith on the right. He's going to fly to the top right. When he flies right underneath the timer, it's approximately then when I would pause. Pause like when my head is about touching here. Pause, uh, I think I pause and flying over that guy's head. I'm kind of out of sync actually. <laughs> I can't remember my own visual cues here. Oh, that was a bit late. Oh yeah, it's when that guy flies under the T. Right, after you hear the sound, pause when you're above this guy's head. I actually was a little bit late there, because I was talking. Pause when you're standing about here. Hit that guy if you want. Oh, this is actually really confusing. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's right when you're about to cross his head. Okay, right when you're about to touch that, and I guess about after the sound. Uh, you kind of pause right before you talk to this guy, but that's... I'm gonna stop doing that, because I always, like, lose a second when I'm done talking to him anyway. See? Every time. Right before those guys shoot is when you pause again. Uh, pause right shortly after this guy jumps. So I think, like, before he goes over the top of your head. Pause again about in the middle, middle-ish seam. I think you pause around here. That one's really bad. There's, like, nothing to look at on the screen. Always pause here. When, at the peak of your jump, as you're about to cross uh, the threshold of that upper brick there. You always pause here. It works every time. Uh, pause after you get hit. Ish. <laughs> yeah, you gotta re-jump. Never equip your key on this screen, though, because you'll lose a second from opening the menu. Ah, oh, my god, I missed it again. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to... I'm gonna use this state just to show what it's supposed to look like when you walk over this guy's head successfully. Okay, so you've climbed up this ladder, not looking at your wing boots timer. And that fireball should chase you, and it's actually really hard to keep your pausing going during that. You can either just take the hit, you'll get damage boosted into this screen, which is not bad. But anyway, you get to this screen, and um... Oh, oops. Oh yeah, and when you're actually on this screen, um, you'll have to pause around here. Or, like, right before you get to here. Some, somewhere around there to keep your wing boot second. You might have to pause twice as well, because there's... It's really tough to, like, get in the door in, in one pause. Anyway, once you're inside... Um... Pause just as you crest this ledge, it looks like. Oops. <laughs> Basically, like... Um, you'll notice when you enter a new area, your timer says zero. Once it gives you the, like, once it tells you what the timer is, consider that frame zero. Like, that's, that's a critical frame. It just decremented from your wing boots. So, when you have a muscle memory feel for how long 64 frames is, then you can pause and do that. I just realized that, uh, the screen has been obscured by this thing for quite a while. <laughs> so, my visual cues may be a little bit silly. Okay, I'll start over again then. That was a bad pause. Okay. So once more. That's, yeah, early on. And then, okay, I paused for too long, so everything's out of sync. Remember, you gotta be paused as short duration as possible here. So it's about that long entering the screen. Second bounce, fly under the T. Head up there, after the sound, over this guy's head. Okay, it's like the... Second last brick from the right, on the on the top shelf, anyway. So yeah, talk to this guy. You can talk to him with your hair, like, this far below. Oh, I kept the second this time. Oops, I got stuck up here, though. It'll be fine, though. Just got damage boosted twice. 
So yeah, this guy jumps over you in the middle, somewhere in the air. Probably should have paused again. Right. This one was important. Always pause at the when you're lined up with the second brick. Okay, get a ladder re-jump. Good. I explained how to do that last time, but I can bring up the input diagram for that. If someone actually catches this live, I'll do that. Okay, so we're in here. Always climb up here, because you can get stuck in the ceiling if you try to ladder reset up there. Oh yeah, and if you miss, that's how you recover. Just like stand on the ground and wait. Um, okay. Basically just like watch your timer carefully after picking up the wing boots. Watch it carefully in here as well. Not a big deal if you lose seconds in here, if you're still learning. Because if you, if you like try to save it without knowing where the timing window is, you're just going to lose the second anyway. So you have to pause really quickly. Uh, I don't really have any other good visual cues in here. I just kind of watch my timer. Oh, that was late. Okay, I can't get hit by this guy. Okay, so I pause when I'm falling through the crack. I pause like approximately when I'm above the straw hat guy's head or like taking hits. But the next pause is always when you touch this ladder or when you're like about to fall down it. Okay, this screen, you can use the enemy movements to time it. Like, it's basically after the mage up top finishes stuttering or before the minotaur charges. This one's about in the middle. This one is always on... See the seam in the background I'm about to walk over? You always pause when you're crossing that, like when you're on top of it. I, I paused early because I'm actually trying to keep the second involved. <laughs> keep the second preserved, but... This one is completely reliable. If you, if you nail the other two, this one always works. In fact, you, you can ignore the first two, and it'll work, because then that way you haven't like lost any frames of being paused. Okay. So again, use enemy movements to time it. This is the like the exact same frame you get hit, is when you pause the, this one. This one is also really easy to time. You also get damage boosted into the right spot. This one I don't really have any good visual cues, I just kind of go by timing. So... If you have a really good sense of how long the 64 frame interval is, you can just keep your one second like this. Um, what I call is, you can take what I, what I call deep breaths, where you just, if you're not sure where the critical frame is, and you really, really want to keep your wing boots, probably like I am now, to avoid dialogue, you can take deep breaths where you're just paused for a really long time at a time, or you can be a few frames away from dying, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this tutorial is going to continue until uh, the next time when you're supposed to use wing boots. I think I've talked about that enough. So you respawn with zero gold. Um, your visits counter works out such that... Okay, you want to go up here. Go one, two. On your second visit, ointment appears here. Um, if you have better positioning, you can use your invincibility to uh, shoot that other guy with no animation. It's a little faster. Anyway, equip, equip your joker key. I'm just gonna kill this guy quickly with no explanation. Okay, so what what even happened there? I'm gonna pause the game to talk about this. Actually, this is important. Um, wyverns have. Oh, sup, sup, Hanok. Anyway, um, I'm doing a tutorial for this game that I speed run and happen to have world record at. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly bring up that tutorial, but at a manageable size. Okay. <laughs> All right. So wyverns have 75 HP. Uh, your attacks. Your dagger does 5 damage, your deluge does 6 damage. You can get a double stab while you're inside these wyverns with ointment. If you had a shield, their fireballs would still be pushing you back, so shields are bad. That's why you don't buy a shield in a speedrun. Um, so to do 75 HP of damage, it's really convenient to jump and do a double stab and shoot 1 deluge. That does 5 plus 5 plus 6. That does 16 damage. So do that twice for 32. And um, you can also shoot 2 deluges these do damage the enemy, although he only makes the gee, 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 like getting hit sound three times. But that does 22 damage, right? Because it's an extra six. So 16 plus 16 plus 22 plus 22 is 32 plus 44 is 76. It's exactly enough to kill a wyvern. So what I think to myself is um, I press the B button, you know, this one that glows red, press that in the air twice to shoot two deluges. So um, the order I usually go in is one, two, two, one, like one deluge, then two, then two, then one. So all that matters when you know how to do that is uh, you have to get these enemies positioned the right way. Um, I'm not going to show it off, but if you kill them while they're pushed against the right edge of the screen, two of the coins that they drop as a reward will spawn on the... They'll wrap around on the other side of the screen, which is inside the left wall, and you can't get them. So you don't get as much money, and that's bad. 
Uh, you can make up for it, though, and some grinding later on. But this is uh, what you do with ointment. So, yeah, when you come in from the left the first time, you just kind of push the wyvern towards the right, but uh, get inside it and face left like I did at the end to push it away from the wall. So you're going to farm these guys four times in total. Once on the way in, you're going to refresh the screen twice for two more, then talk to the guy at the fountain twice, and then uh, kill the fourth one on the way out. And your ointment lasts long enough to do all this in one trip. So this is what uh, the middle two look like, where you're just farming them. One, two, two... So again, I go one. Oh, that was two. Two, one, one. Yeah, make sure you're holding up on the D-pad so that you are shooting diligences the whole time. So you can talk to this guy when you're inside that crack in the in the brick there. Um, if you're like me and don't mash A through text and you just like want to press A once, this guy's actually really hard to talk to because he says coming, which is like the only word on the line, and then he says ruby the second time, which is the only word on the line. Anyway, one, two, two, one. Notice I get pushed back a little farther when I'm doing two deluges. So just walk through this guy, he only gives 115 gold. There's better farming in the next area anyway. It's okay to take a hit from that guy, because he'll buy meat later to heal it off. Uh, sometimes if you're a little bit slow, or like your ointment time is a little different, uh, you'll get pushed to the right and grab the ladder more easily. Anyway, you want to go back here and buy a longsword. This is uh, the final weapon you'll acquire in the run. This is the weapon you'll use for the rest of the game. It uh, does double damage and has double the range. Certainly not the best weapon in the game, but it's more than good enough for a speedrun. So this is also really important. Uh, route changes over the years mean you get your queen key now. So it's the last building in town. It's like kind of really easy to have, just have it slip your mind and forget about it. But this is the only queen key you need to buy in the game. Make sure you buy it. I know your gold looks really low right now, but it's actually fine. Anyway, so you get up here the same way, do a ladder reset, you know. I like equipping everything here. Excuse me. Because, of the, you know, you get off the ladder and you look all different. Oh man, it's so sweet! Anyway, that's what jumping over those guys looks like. You can jump over the fireball. Now that you have the Ring of Ruby, just keep walking into this rock. You'll push it over. Now you can leave this area and go to the next one, the Misty area. So just walk through this screen. Uh, this screen is kind of cool. You need a double stab on this guy, kind of like that. Just stab again after you walk a little bit, and hit with the very tip. It's not a big deal if you need to walk forward more. Uh, just stab this guy four times, or if you're me, jump up and try to hit with Deluge to keep your walk speed, but I haven't found a consistent way to do that. Stab this guy four times, jump shoot a Deluge, get some extra money from the B. Now what you want to do is jump and get damage boosted to get inside this guy. You can get a double stab if you're positioned well, otherwise... Oh yeah, just jump and stab, you'll catch that B as well. I think you do have to take that one out, just because you'll get hit and lose walk speed anyway. You lose walk speed on the ladder anyway. Uh, anyway, you want to talk to Bill Dotri from King of the Hill here for some meat. Mostly to restore your magic, because you need a lot of magic for the upcoming section. And the more magic you have for the next boss, the better. Like, you'll, you'll kill it faster, and it's safer. Like, there's... If you're still learning this game, you want to bring lots of magic. I don't know if I had to kill that bee, but I did anyway. Anyway, jump and shoot that Metroid. Probably should have talked about what I did on the screen outside of town a little bit as well, but basically you climb up the ladder, get hit, climb up high enough so that your head bonks into the wall behind you, like on the ceiling of it, just behind you, so you can do a ladder reset, then you jump out, get hit again. You can jump and that guy gets mad and falls down the cliff, so you can hit him two more times. Okay, I'm going to pause on this screen, because there's two ways to do this screen. Uh, I'm actually going to... Where's a good save state for this? Oh, wait, I already have a save state. That's close enough. Okay, so I'll just... Um, I'll do this the safe way first. Uh, BoxFat discovered this. If you're learning the game and scared of the next boss fight... Let me just check chat quickly. Okay, no updates. Good. Um, I have this terrible feeling that like something's going wrong with the stream. <laughs> it looks like my microphone's working and I have game audio. Anyway... Um, so if you're still learning this game and you want to keep your high health, uh, you can do this uh, box fat strat right here. What you do is climb to the top of this ladder and wait. This guy won't attack you on ladders for some reason. I don't know if it's because he's honorable or if he's like not trained to walk close enough to actually hit you. I th yeah, I think this guy just like walks to like the maximum distance that he can stand without hitting you. He waits for you to bump into him. So when you're on this ladder, you're safe. So what you do is you get hit by this Metroid and look how little damage it does. So it did like almost none. 
But I got hit left. Because it was moving to the left, I got pushed to the left, thus pushed into the wall. I got ladder reset. Now I'm standing. So I'm able to attack while standing on this ladder. So I'll just stab four times. There we go. On our way. Now, where's that safe state? There we go. State 8. I don't know why I had this there. This is, this is a save state I can definitely get rid of. But what I do is I just walk up here, take the hit. But I walk into the Metroid because I don't want to take a second hit from that orange guy. He does a good chunk of damage. So you want to just stab four times. You don't. I used magic previously because it's a it's a little faster, but you actually want it to take longer here so that those Metroids line up. Usually that coin lands on the platform, but I don't really need it. So you have to walk left to dunk that guy off to the left. So just stab this guy four times. Now. Go in here. On first visit, this is one of the abandoned building screens in the game where you can't use a weapon. You just have your punch, and your punch has no hitbox. It can't damage enemies. Now, um, we need wing boots later, though, of course. So, um, scrolling a screen left to right is slower than moving up or down to transition the screen or to enter a door. So we're going to rack up uh, visiting special item screens uh, in this abandoned hospital here. So I need to go in it three times to get the next screen ready, so... Let's go one, two, three. Um, if Make sure you have around 4,200 or 4,300 or even 4,500. You need 4,500 gold by the time you get to the next town. So feel free to farm these orange guys until you have enough. Then when you're ready, I guess I'd be standing about here. So when you're ready, um, oh yeah. Okay, in this case, I'm going to overdo, overwrite safe state 8 right now. Um... If, I'm gonna do the not wing boot extension strats first. So what I used to do is climb to the right like that. You can go into that little nook to re-jump up the ladder and save like one second. So this is the screen where you gotta use wing boots. You can stand on here with your back foot for uh, maximum starting distance. I am gonna do a ladder re-jump though. <laughs> So if you jump nice and far off to the right, this guy will damage boost you to the right. What a bro. I'm gonna do a ladder rejump here though. So you wanna get through here as fast as possible. It's kinda Oh yeah, watch out for that ladder. It's actually way harder than it looks to get down there with wing boots active. It's like you can't touch the ground with wing boots active for some reason. So you have to like climb to the perfect height and then squeeze in there. So with the timer ticking, you gotta go in here and buy three king keys. I'm just gonna do this with frame skip because this is really boring. Probably gonna lose walk speed. Okay, skip, skip dialogue. Yeah, I lost walk speed, but that's fine. The important thing about the real reason why you want to use wing boots is to get up here. You have to wait for banana squid though. Don't mess with banana squid. He does a lot of damage. Like don't don't even take the hit. Just punch that guy out of the way, and you made it up here. Awesome. Took a big shortcut. Really big shortcut. Unfortunately, this screen takes a long time. So this is the screen that has the wing boots on it. Oops, I actually don't know how to fight these guys anymore. So you have to wait for that guy to come down, kill him, climb up, grab the wing boots. Costs probably 8 to 10 seconds. Oh, but it gets worse. Here's a screen with a whole bunch of ladders and a lot of... Yeah, you gotta stab that guy uh, as you're jumping up, or else you'll get shot in the face by stabbing him on the way up. And uh, by forgetting to press up to grab ladders, you won't go up here. Okay. Wait for Banana Squid to go by. Kill him for a nice chunk of health. So this enemy up here is Luigi, who behaves very randomly, but he has like a few patterns that he follows. Like, I recognize that one. Like, if you played this game since childhood, like I have, you'll recognize that enemy behaviors are really consistent. Um, oh, I actually went farther in the tutorial than I was supposed to. With, uh, <laughs> I said I was like, I'm not going to go up to the second wing boots. But, um, okay, I'll, I'll do the second wing boots then. So anyway, I'll end the tutorial here for, once I do it again. So this is what I do with uh, wing boot pausing strats. Is I can go left and uh, start down here. No need for any climbing. Oops, started at 39. Uh, I don't have very good visual cues here, though. Oh, I do. Okay. Pause there. Pretty much every time. Um, don't have a good one there, either. Uh, I'm usually focused on fighting this guy, so I don't really pause on this screen. I just, like, go up and look later. Always take the damage boost, if you can. 
Uh, you just have to pause before you leave. Okay, jump and then pause. You always want to pause when you're in like this area of the screen, like the third or the fourth column from the left. You always want to pause around there. The pause also gives you time to think, uh, hey, I need to get this ladder reset. How do I do that? Like that. Luckily, I have enough gold in this save state somehow. I'm missing my pauses. I actually do not have consistent visual cues here. This this whole section is always like, I'm totally winging it every time. Because I, I feel like my amount of gold is always different, and like, so many things can vary in there. I just take a deep breath there. I, I often miss that. Oh, that was weird. Weird place to lose walk speed. Again, gotta buy three king keys. Doesn't matter how well you can wing boot extend. You need three king keys to beat this game. Yeah, the tool assisted run has another explanation of, uh... Wing boots pausing glitch for those who are curious. Practice your ladder resets on this ladder, I guess, while you're waiting for banana squid. For some reason, in this save state, I have very little magic remaining. Anyway, so pause in the middle, and you want to pause like after you cross under that floating block there. Um, because I screwed up the first one, everything was a little misaligned. But basically, you need to pause three times in this screen, and that's like in the you know near the right edge, in the middle. And then on the left, around here. So they're kind of like all symmetrical. Maybe like shifted a little bit to the left. If I had like, you know, the John Madden Trinitron thing, I would like draw on the screen with white marker, but I don't. So I'll see if I can nail my visual cues for this one. So the first one is when this grasshopper jumps over you. Like around there. Just stab him twice. Pause around there. I usually drop that one though, because I'm busy fighting that guy. But that's okay, because you don't need your wing boots much more. Jump and pause in the air. Um, I want to get that ladder reset. So in case you don't get a ladder reset, you can... Um, hang on. I'm just going to show you can fly into this screen. Got to pause as well to make it up there. You can just fly and harass Banana Squid. I usually quit my, I quit my King Key on this screen. And jump over Luigi, because he always does a long jump towards you. He always does this when you enter the screen. Then jump over this B, Luigi goes underneath you, and now you're on your way into uh, the Tower of Fortress, I don't know what it's called, the, the Black Onyx Tower is what I call it. I'm not going to show what this terrifying tower looks like, that'll be for part three. Alright, I'm going to go uh, put this on YouTube momentarily, maybe after I review it. Looks like it was shorter than last time, thankfully, even though I had to explain an entire new concept. Hopefully it sounds okay. Uh, if anybody saw this live, I hope it was helpful in some way, probably not. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.